Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical today. I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 138. Thank you for anyone who has submitted their gameplay. For anyone who doesn't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go through it. Today we have Mythic Plus, which I'm very excited about, but I obviously mostly do PvP. So twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, BG Blitz. Uh, I do PvE as well, Mythic Plus, Raiding, Mistweaver, or Windwalker. I do it all. So please send in your gameplay. One of the best ways to improve at the game is to watch your gameplay or is to record your gameplay and watch it back, see what any see if you're making any mistakes. If you don't want to submit your gameplay, that's fine. But I would still highly recommend please record your gameplay and watch it back. Cause I'm telling you, you'll see so many mistakes you make. Promise I, I do too. Today we have Delta Chaos, who submitted a plus 12 stone vault, who says that they're quite okay with the performance, but it's always interesting to hear some third party opinions, which is always good. You know, that's great. 12 is pretty, pretty solid though. 12 is really good. Um, also, I've not seen much PV reviews, so uh, maybe due to like submissions. Yeah, I, I don't get a lot of PVE stuff. Mostly, I feel like most people watch me for PVP, which is fine, but uh, I do PVE as well. I just don't stream it or <laughs> really upload as frequently as I do PVP stuff. So this is very exciting. I am very excited. I, I'm not going to lie. I just timed a plus, I think, 11 or 10 stone ball. So fresh on the mind here. But you're doing a 12. So obviously, you know what you're doing. So... What do we got going on here? We have what a mage ret hunter and a prop pally. So we do have a decurse, which is really good, especially good for this first pull. Um, yeah, this is it. I'm very excited. I might just let it run because otherwise I'm, I'm try not to pause that much because I swear I'm going to it, it's going to be a very long video. It looks like we're a fist beam, though. I see Jade Firestomp here with Chi G. We're playing Conduit of the Celestials because we have Celestial Conduit. So that's really good. Diffuse Magic, Fort Brew and Healing Elixirs. That is great. So I really like this UI. I'm not going to lie. This is this is a pretty clean UI. I like it. I like. Oh, it looks like things are in different language. OK. That's going to be interesting. Okay. We'll see how this goes. All right. So the first part is we're going to need some curse dispels. Uh, obviously, that's kind of the mage's job. And this one, we just... This is honestly, in my opinion, the hardest pull of the dungeon, I would say. You want to dodge these swirls. Everyone's also going to get slowed at some point. So you want to make sure if we have any dispels, obviously, you can diffuse magic because it is magic. So you can diffuse yourself and uh, dispel somebody else. But Chi kind of immunes that slow for us. We just get the free dispel. But we're doing a pretty good job. Love the crackle. I forgot that Like when you're fist weaving, you're also crackling because you're playing the Jade Fire Teachings talent. And we're going to try to get i think we want to get kicks on i think it's the fear right the howling fear but i think we've kind of crushed this pull yeah your team knows what they're doing which is kind of nice to see but yeah no i don't see any any issues so far there was what one death but it isn't bad at all so far dodge the swirls good yeah no perfect job there from your team i actually tried to do this on a plus 10 and my group wiped instantly so yeah they did not kick <laughs> so this is this is good it, this is good all right so we do have a we have a focus target which is which is really nice yeah i see that now this is our focus target down here and we're gonna try to set the kicks on them which is fantastic um we don't have our ancient teachings up or a jade fire teaching so let's yep there you go good good there it's, it's always awkward i i i get in the same situations when i fist weave too um i just started fist weaving mythic plus normally i cast and i start fist weaving towards like the end of seasons once i know the mechanics and like i still feel like there's gaps in my jade fire teachings buff that that's my own fault not really anyone else's fault but yeah good soothing mist here what do we get we got an envelope mist out yeah good envelope mist out yeah i think that's really important is always get your envelope mist out i see that i don't know what add on this is down here maybe it's grid or i'm not entirely sure or voodoo maybe I, i'm not sure but i'm assuming that the yellow is enveloping mist i would say so always keep that envelope mist on your tank which is really good good we do we don't have a jade fire teachings buff right now i don't see it i don't see our fist weaving buff so let's try to i think it's activated when you have thunder focus t or jade fire stomp right I'm pretty sure. There it is. Okay. I was going to say, oh, there's a weak ore right here. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. I figured there was some kind of weak ore I had to look for to make sure that uh, I knew what we were doing. All right. Good Envelope Mist here. Good Rendering Mist. Shaylin's Gift here as well is really good. Yeah, Shaylin's Gift I feel like is so important. Is there a way to see how many stacks you have it at? Because we want to maximize our our uh, Yulon buff. I don't see... Uh, it's probably it's honestly it's probably somewhere it's probably somewhere but so far so good i feel like in a 12 you kind of know the mechanics you're just trying to learn like you're maximizing your damage rotation at this point because 
I don't think you can time a 12 if you if you don't know like the mechanics. Good crackle here. Yeah, good. Get your doing missed out. Yeah, because I don't know if we're playing Chi Harmony or Lotus Infusion. I'm assuming. I see a lot of PVers, PVEers playing Lotus Infusion, but I really like uh, Chi Harmony. So I guess it doesn't matter as long as you have your renewing mist up. And yeah, keep that involved mist on the tank there. Keep extending it with the rising mist. This is good work here. So this is Edna, who is. It's not too bad. Now, what people have started to do, and I'm sure you know this, is they started to break like two at a time instead of three, right? So they're gonna spawn here, good dodge there, great. Good job, go team, because guess what? A lot of people that I play with, they don't dodge. <laughs> and then we wanna break two of these, as I'm pretty sure the strat that people are doing. It looks like we're maybe doing one, one at a time, which is great, because this is quite a bit of damage. I guess in a 12, you kinda wanna do that. So we're only breaking one at a time, which is, is fine, because it does a ton of damage. So we're gonna dodge the swirls, good. We dispelled the tank when you got the debuff, right? Now, good. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, no, good. You know what you're doing for sure. Great, great, great. Yep. I, what do we do? We killed one, one of the uh, I don't know, spikes. Slash O'Connor in here. Great. Uh, do we use life cocoon? So I would say I, I said I told myself I'm not gonna pause. I'm not gonna pause it because this will be a freaking two hour video. Try to use life cocoon right now. I know it sounds crazy, and you don't have to if you don't, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But like Celestial Conduit, the cooldown reduction from Celestial Conduit is so good, right? Like we get the dispel in the tank here. Good. Oh. Come on. Yes. Good. Perfect. Um, good job. I think we break a few of those spikes. I would say one thing is if, yeah, okay, there's life cocoon. I think it was slightly a little late with this, uh, the Yulon buff. So I would say if you, you know, if you slash your conduit normally, uh, I, I would just send the, um, the life cocoon if you can, especially in PVE. I, I've never once in my entire life of PVE ever said, you know, let's, uh, no one's ever wanted life cocoon, right? So we do have some renewing mist going out. Envelop mist here, Shadow's gift as well on the rep alley. I'm looking at your top left, which is great. No dispel. Okay, so we have no dispel for next. That's a little unfortunate. Maybe we do. I don't know. We'll see. But we're just gonna keep trying to do damage here. We do have our angel, our jade fire teachings buff. We're gonna get sending one through the spike. Good, good. Our poor little hunter is dropping a little bit low, but I think he's doing good. I saw him use turtle as well last time, doing a little bit of damage here. Great. Good, good, good. Tiger Palm. What I'm trying to look at is your your um, teachings of the monastery buff. So I don't, I don't know where any of your spells are. <laughs> I don't see any of your spells. All right. So I'm assuming you're going to blackout kick after, hopefully you get a reset from your Tiger Palms. All right. I see. Okay. I'm seeing. Okay. Four blackout kicks. Where we have our teachings. Our ancient teachings has a or teaching of the monastery has four stacks. So we want a blackout kick, good rising sun kick, and then are we tiger palming? I'm looking at, I'm trying to look at the buffs here, but I'm not. It, there must be a weak aura that I'm missing. But we also have wait, we also have two stacks. Is if this is the right buff I'm looking at here? Yeah, this is two stacks of the um the crackle buff. So you could. I mean, right now, I know what sucks about Mistweaver, I feel like, is that we're kind of like really bad with single target, but there is some extra healing you can do if you want to, you know, get some AOE healing going out. We do have two stacks of that, that crackle, and it can't stack any higher than two anyway. So, you know, I feel like right now, every time you press Thunder Focus T, you're kind of, you're, that's one less charge of your Thunder Focus T, which is kind of unfortunate. All right, good, good. Dispel really soon. That's great. Um, we used our Celestial Conduit there. Great. Celestial Conduit's a great heal to have. So that's really, really good. Um, and we should be getting our life cocoon soon. Good kill here. R great strat. I, I like seeing that. We do pull this pull right here. Are we going? Okay. Yeah, we're going towards... Um, what's that boss? Skarmorak, right? Skarmorak? Yeah, I think it's going to be the boss when we go going to. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I do see these weak auras here now. So this is Jade Fire Teachings. This is... Chi G. Oh, that's how many Chi G buffs we have. And okay. And this is Jade Fire Stomp. Okay. All right. Good. So for this trash, nothing crazy. Again, you always want to maximize like kicking anything that you can. I believe that these mobs or the next mobs, depending on where we go to, have a silence that we want to kick. So good crackle here. Yeah, we had crackles uh, that last fight, but I do know that Miss Weaver single target is kind of rough. I do see that we see we have one of the ads on focus target right now. So we're probably going to be trying to focus kick them, which is great. Yeah, these ones should be um, should be kicked. Good, good. We have a target on focus, which is fantastic. You don't see that a lot, you know. You must have a bind or something, which is great. And we have our teachings down or Jade Fire stop down. 
Oh, we throw an envelopment mist out there. Good. Yeah, I see that yellow is like the um, envelopment mist, which is really good. But I don't see I don't see any other issues besides. I mean, your damage is looking good. Um, normally, I try to pair Life Cocoon with my Celestial Connor, but besides that, I mean, your team's looking pretty solid. It's nice that you have like a D curse with your team, which is really good. 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 Oh, prop alleys are insane, by the way, though. I mean, you don't even need to kick much or that often, really. Right? Prop alleys have the uh, the shield. Uh, dodge the swirls here. Good. Spinning crane kick. Good. Keeps them in range. Great work. Good. Good. Get your ordinary mist out. Maybe develop mist on the tank here. A lot of damage is going to be happening. Knock from the mage. Good. Overall, though, yeah, no, pretty good so far. We had lost our Jade Fire Teachings buff there for a little bit, but I think we got it back. We haven't had to use any cooldowns here. That's Enveloping Mist there on the Mage. I'd say overall, we're doing we're doing a pretty pretty good job. Yep, good, good. We do have a Thunder. We do. Uh, the, I do notice though, we have two charges or two stacks of the Crackle. Now, maybe I mean, obviously, maybe if your team is coordinated, then. By all means, you know, it's all you. But we just used Thunder Focus T again, and we have two charge or two stacks of the Thunder Focus T. Or of, of the Crackling Jade Lightning. So keep that in mind. They don't they don't stack past two, right? So it, even if you're losing out on on a stack of your crackle, right? So I would just keep that in mind. I don't I I personally maybe again, maybe you guys are more coordinated and you're saving it for something, which is fine. But for the most part, I would just you know, if you're at two stacks of Crackle and you're about to press Thunder Focus T, I would at least channel it for maybe a second or two and then just go back to, oh, was that Mana T? Good Mana T there. That was good Mana T. Yeah, Mana's looking mighty healthy. Um, I would at least send one stack of the Crackle before pressing Thunder Focus T again because I think we just did it before this pull as well. Um, so keep that in mind. But overall, this, this is good. This is good. We still have Revival. We have Chiji, which is good. That was our <clears throat> Envelopment Mist on yourself, which is great. Um, Rendering Mist, good, 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 great. Envelopment Mist on yourself in the tank. Keep extending with your Rising Sun Kicks. Dodge your Purple Swirls. Fantastic. Yeah, and we have um, two charges of Renewing Mist. Is this is this Renewing Mist Weekor yelling at you? <laughs> <laughs> this is weak words yelling at you. I guess you have two charges of renewing mist. Yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> That's the funniest weak word I've ever seen. Okay, man. So that weak word is just yelling at you. They got two charges of renewing mist. So that's interesting. Yeah, I would probably get some more renewing mist out now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. renewing mist. We need to get out here. Get out here. It's hard because in PvE you're extending it so much with your rising sun kick because your rising sun kick is so often. And that was Shaylin's gift there too. So I mean you're doing a good job. Maybe get a renewing mist on yourself. Would it would also be good. But Dodge of Purple Swirls here. Fantastic. We're gonna crackle here, get our renewing mist out. Perfect. Maybe instant vivify too. As well. I don't know if you have I don't know if you have a weak order for that. Do you have a weak aura for Vivacious? I feel like you don't. I'm trying to see. V vivacious Vivification is really good because you it's 20% increased healing as well. So, you know, that's that's pretty good. All right, so this one, this boss, again, it, it, nothing too crazy about this one. I think you just can't trigger more than one of the, you know, crystals or what are they called? The the guys that spawn. Um you need to clear them one at one by one. You can't trigger them all at the same time. So obviously your team knows that. So one by one you get that. And then you wanna, I think, pick up one of the these right here. Yeah, throw them vote missed out. Good. Get one of them. Good. This so this is what? 50% increased healing. Um Sasha O'Connor here is good. Dodge of Pearl Swirls. And then that's pretty much the fight. I mean, there's really nothing else besides that. I think the biggest thing is trying to heal through the crystals uh that spawn um when you kill them. So this is good, good. Usually every time there's an AoE damage, I try to use a cooldown. So get your renewing mist out, which is great. Try to get envelop mist on honestly as many people as you can when there's downtime. And we're just doing damage here. We did wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We we don't have our Jade Fire teachings buff. So keep that in mind. We're doing damage right now, Chiji. We're doing damage right now, Chiji, but it doesn't look like you have your Jade Fire teachings buff. <clears throat> I see Jade Fire Stomp. I don't see your Jade Fire teachings though. Yeah, I don't think you have the Jade Fire Teachings buff. 
right now, and we're doing damage with Chiji. So keep that in mind. I, I trust me. Again, I've said it, I said it a few times. I've I've had that situation too. It's like awkward. Um, but yeah, try to press it. Cause there we go. There we go. Now we have it. Good. 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 Yeah. Throw an envelopment mist out if you have to. I mean, throw that instant envelopment mist out if you have to. Try to get the, one of these buffs too. Um, honestly, try to get two if you can. Um, actually, before you start healing, maybe take one of these buffs right here. Uh, just because you want your extra healing from your enveloping mist, which would be kind of good. And we're also missing out on our Jade Fire Teachings buff. Yeah, now, now we get it after we did all that healing. So, have we had a statue the whole time? I swear, I swear that's the first time I'm seeing a statue as well. I swear. <laughs> maybe I'm blind. I'm going to pay attention to it. Good Shaylin's gift there. Good damage, good. Jade Fire teaching stuff, good. We have Force Tax, a Blackout Kick, good. Rising Sun Kick right now, good. Good, get our new Mist out, perfect. Good, no stacks of it. And now we have Crackle going. We have two stacks of Crackle. Again, I know Mist Weaver is awkward in single target damage because Crackling Jade Lightning, right? You need it to do damage. Still worth it, maybe, to press it. As well, we have Revival, Life Cocoon, Slash Show Conduit. So we have a lot of cooldowns here, uh, which is great. That, that is fantastic. Dodge the, dodge the, uh, the ring dodge the swirls big damage here get our belt missed out we're doing mist if you can i would also i'm seeing vivacious vivification up here i would send that baby where's my vivify yeah oh we have we have the unbound changeling buff too so we have a lot of healing we have two stacks of uh so yeah we're losing out on a lot of maybe not the most healing from from like uh overflowing our crackling jade lightning but i would say it's still worth using um good good Team's doing okay. A lot of healing here. Celestial Conduit, beautiful. Now I'm not gonna. Now I would just say you probably know better than me. Before the damage goes out, I would already I would use Celestial Conduit and then press it again to give everyone a shield just to minimize how much damage they take. Obviously, you heal through it fine. We have a little bit of secret infusion as well, which is great. But I'm just saying, you know, good shaylin's gift there as well. We used a lot of cooldowns. I would actually it now that personally, I would probably save the shade. I would probably use the shaylin's gift for one. Like AoE damage, and then you slash your conduit for the next time that happens. That way you're not, you're staggering your cooldowns more than just like stacking it. Uh, but overall, I mean, we're doing a pretty good job. We also have 17 stacks of manatee if this weak ore is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So 17 stacks of manatee. Um, obviously, you know, we're taking a little bit of damage right now. Renewing miss. Good, good, good. Great. We have our statue going, which is fantastic. Throwing a belt miss down on the tank would be great. Good, good. Great. I would still get one of these buffs maybe before. I know it puts it puts a dot on you, but it's not the most. All right. So so like right now we could have either Shaylin's gift or conduit. We actually have revival. We could probably send the revival, but instead we like the last time we used both of them. I normally, I mean, you know what I mean. I I would normally in PVE situations try to stagger uh, the cooldowns. That way I always have something when there's big area damage going out. But god damn, this is a long boss fight. Holy cow. Why is this boss fight so long? My God. <laughs> Good. You have Envelopment Mist out, Renewing Mist out. Great. Uh, we just lost our Jade Fire Teachings buff, so keep that in mind. Good. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, I don't see it up there. Doing a little bit of damage here. Keep that in mind. Be careful. Don't try not to send too much damage into it without uh, having the buff. Good. Good. We have four. We have four stacks. I'm see. I'm looking at. We have four stacks. We're teaching the monastery. We want a rising sun kick if we can into a blackout kick. Um, wow, that was a long fight, but good work. I see someone says that's the worst boss ever. I do agree. That boss is absolutely awful. Oh my god, that is painful. Good work though. Really good work. Lost our buff there a few times. Obviously, we were probably we were trying to uh, hard cast up healing, which is fine. Um. Overall, not 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 too bad. Really great healing. I mean, look at your healing output. It's fantastic. So, um, just overall good. I'm assuming we're, we we do have our crackle. We have two stacks of it. I would try to use one before we use the under focus T, um, just so we're not losing out on any damage. I mean, more important if any if it's not healing, it's damage, right? Because crackle actually, I mean, 800% increase dodge that red ball. Good, fantastic work here. We want to interrupt any healing. So what is that called? That is the restoring metals. We want to make sure we interrupt that because there's no healing. Great cracker. We could actually back to back it if we wanted to because we have two stacks of it. Good job dodging the red ball there. The red fireball. I don't know. That's just how I remember things. Um, dodge the swirl there. Fantastic. Good work there. Was that your hunter? Good job. That was that was good. That was good. The hunters that I usually pug don't. Uh, they think that the uh, swirls are actually a DPS increase. So good healing, healing there on your mage. Great, great, great. Um, overall, we're doing pretty good. 
Yeah, no, I think we're doing fantastic work here. Great manatee here. We had quite a few sacks of manatee from the last boss fight. Usually, Mistweavers won't really run out of mana, right, during boss fights, so that's good. Oh, I can get the... Ver okay, good. So what is that, an engineer, right, I, I believe? This is good. Dodge the swirl, spinning crank. You'll get Mystic Touch and everything. Great leg sweep here. It looks like we're doing a little bit of a double pull here. Good. I would immediately probably start chijing because we want you want to ramp up your healing a little bit once we we got a debuff on the tank. Good dispel there. Perfect. Good kick there. Is that restoring metals? Okay. Yep. Yeah, good. We have that one on focus. There it is. That's restoring metals. We're looking for a kick on it. I don't know if he got that off or not. I feel like he. I don't know if we did or not. Good rop there on the tank. Beautiful work here. Really, really good stuff. Great chi too. I, I would have done the same exact thing, like I said. Usually when there's like a double pull or something like that, um, chi is my initial cooldown that I press just because you can start ramping up your healing with your with chi and then just get your instant vote miss out, right? So great work there. Good hodge here on unfunked to tier. I don't know which mob this is. This is a completely different language. I think it's hilarious. Uh, but good work. Uh, renewing mist, uh, they're yelling at you. So you need to use your renewing mists. It's hard. It's weird. I've never, I, I mean, this is a clean UI, like for sure. I've just never seen a UI like it before because normally I see like action bars, but it looks like everything's just hidden with weak ores and then the entire UI is a weak ore, which is, it's pretty cool. No, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. So good crackle here. We have another charge, another stack of crackling jade lightning as well. So, you know, if you see any damage that's going, okay, we used it. Fantastic. Good sweep here. Perfect on multiple, multiple casts. Always good if you can get value out of your leg sweep because, you know, if there's multiple enemies casting, maybe we don't have interrupts. I see that this is interrupts on the left-hand side here. So no one actually, you're the only one with an interrupt right now. Good, good kick on that. I think that was restorative metal. Um, or restoring metals, whatever it's called. So that's a good kick. That's the most important thing to kick. Because um, everything else is pretty much just dodging. Um, but this is good. We also, I'm assuming we have ring of peace for our tank if we need to. Good blackout kicks. Envelop mist on yourself, which is good. Ring of peace, perfect for your tank to dodge any melee attacks. And uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. I think what, on the fracture, right? So they must hit really hard at, on, on 12. I'm not going to lie. They, they must hit really hard on 12. <laughs> But this is great so far. This is really, really good. We have Thunder Focus T available. Jade Fire Stomp as well. Good. We have a focus target for the Shmida Bun. <laughs> Shmida Bun. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a cast. Maybe we kick it. I don't know if we kicked it. Uh, she is casting. She's going to town right now. Good interrupt from your prop alley. Prop alley. When prop alley is a meta, it's crazy. Like no one ever really has to interrupt. Good kick from you. No, you didn't kick that. Good sweep though. It's so funny. Good. Look, there's another kick from the prop palette. Yeah, prop palettes are crazy. Oh my god. I remember the last time they were like meta. I couldn't even remember when it was, but they like... I didn't need to kick at all. They just had every single interrupt. It was wild. Um, good kick though on the restoring meta, which is fantastic. Tiger Palm, Crackle, great, great. We have Renewing Mist, good. Keep those Renewing Mist rolling too. You know, you see you your tank, great. Tank uh, got dispelled there, but I would just make sure you keep your renewing mist rolling at all times. It's so important. Um, th it doesn't matter if you're playing Chi Harmony or Lotus Infusion. Like, it's healing increase, right? So, this is really good. Good, good, good. Perfect. And if you can see my dog, I apologize. If it looks like I'm doing, like, petting something, it's because my dog right now. All right, this boss I actually hate more than... This is, like, the hardest boss I think I've ever done in my entire life. I, I actually hate this boss, so... We'll see how your team does it. Obviously, you probably have coordinated kicks on the mob, so that's that's good. Your prop pilots probably can handle most of it, but you know, in the chance that you can't, it seems like good dodge there on the red ball. Um, we're gonna be looking for the open vents right now. Let's see which vent doesn't have it. Good dodge. Always just stay out of the center on this boss fight, which is good. Um, good healing here. Good. I think we're doing a pretty good job of just keeping our team healthy. Dodge the red ball. Perfect. Now we're looking for the vents right there, top left, right here, top left. Good, good. Hunter's already there. Perfect. Sucks that it's out of your Jade Fire teachings. Maybe we can you can coordinate that. We have Jade Fire teachings now, so you could probably stop it now. Um, or Jade Fire stomp, because we're losing our Jade Fire teachings. Careful, careful. Oh my god. That was close. That was close. Stand in the vent to dodge the red balls. So let's shoot out. Perfect. Good. Do damage here. Great. And we're doing a really good job. That's the boss fight, really, right? So 
as long as we keep the interrupts on this second mob here, your damage is really good. And as long as we keep dodging this red ball, we should have the red ball soon. Dodge, stand behind him. Perfect. Doing a great job healing here. I don't know how many stacks of Shaylin's Gift we have. We also don't have. We also use our Celestial Conrad, which was good. Um, try to see if we have any stacks of Celestial Conrad. I can't see. We Or uh, stacks of Shaylin's Gift. That's always a good, like, fallback. You know, just to, it's just such a good heal. Good dodge there. I'm assuming the vents are going to start turn on to fire now. Oh my god, perfect. RNG. Great. You guys don't even need to move, which is perfect. Keep hitting the main boss. It looks like your prop probably is going to have their kickback. Stand on the vent. Stay, get out of the middle. Stand on the vent. Perfect. Your hunter turtles, which is great. And we're doing a good job. Bro, rep Halley. I don't know if the rep Halley got hit or just took a lot of damage there. Good job. Good, good, good. Renewing Mist coming out. We have two stacks of Crackling Jade Lightning as well. We have our Ancient Teachings buff that's going to fall soon. So we want to refresh with our Thunder Focus T. We, I would probably Crackle first. We, we need, Yeah, good. We get our Jade Fire Teachings. Let's Crackle now. And let's get our second charge of our Crackle with our Thunder Focus T. But I think this boss is going to die. Um, great job. Yeah, no, good. Got to the vents. Perfect. Yep. Keep interrupting this guy because, you know, you never know. Fantastic work. That boss is... I hate that boss. I mean, it's a lot quicker than the other boss, but I really... I hate that boss, but your team did a really good job. Fantastic work there. Good. I'm I, I'm surprised. I, we have 20 stacks of mana T2. Um, obviously, Mistweaver mana is, is pretty good, so you don't need to... It's not, like, crazy that you need to, like, use your mana T now or anything, but um, I didn't... Are we Panda too? I love it. Styling. All right, we got 20 stacks of mana T. Revival's coming back. We have Celestial Conduit. We have our Chi-G. As long as you have Chi-G Celestial Conduit, I always feel safe when I'm when I'm healing, when I'm PVEing, because those two cooldowns are so good. So really good work here. Um, so far, so good. We have three B-Reses still, so that's that's really good. For these mobs, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm more explaining it for myself and for, for anyone that might be watching than you, because obviously, you know. Try to stand on both sides here, because these guys will charge. Well, okay, maybe we didn't. No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, they'll charge at somebody and they go really far. So you want to stack, you want to stand like between these two walls so that they don't go too far so your team can just kill them. Um, this guy just does quite a bit of damage. That's pretty much it. Nothing else to it. Um, besides that, I would say just keep it up. You guys doing good. Dodge the swirls. Good. Good. Fantastic work here from your team. And, um, yeah, we have a lot. We have, we have our cooldowns back. We use our Chi-G. We have Jade Fire Teachings is down. We have two stacks of Crackling Jade Lightning. So keep that in mind. Good envelopments there as well. Um, we have our Jade Fire Teachings buff now. Still have two stacks of Crackle, so keep that in mind. Here comes the charges. Dodge the charges. Good. Celestial Conduit here to get some uh, heal through the damage, which is great. Shield on everybody. Dodge the swirls. Perfect. Good, good, good. Great, great. No, we're doing a really good job. This was a very clean run. Honestly, fantastic. Good Crackle here. Good. Good. Perfect. Yeah, that's how you want them to charge because, right, they go too far. They waste time. So, keep that in mind. <clears throat> These ones, it's pretty much just the same thing as all the other mechanics. Just try to kick what you can. Sweep. I usually try to sweep. Good to interrupt there from your prop, probably. I try to sweep when I can, when there's multiple casts going out. Um, good. Good, good, good. And then it's the next pulls that are kind of annoying because you need to swap to the totem. Uh, but for these ones, yeah, just try to stay in between the two walls. Good hodge here on the mob. Uh, dodge, the, dodge the charge that uh, that happens because they hurt and you don't want them to go too far. But I think you have a, you have a hunter and a mage, so range DPS are actually, you know, they're not going to lose out at all time. It's just going to be you and your red pally here. Good, good. And then it's just these two mobs. Yeah, they don't do too much damage outside the charge, so just do what you can. Yeah, fantastic. Good. Um, nine minutes or eight and a half minutes. We should have enough time. I feel like we should have enough time to time this. I feel like. Good. This is great. A little, say, same as the last pull. Just kill through them. Kick what you can. Sweep if uh, there's two people casting. Or even if one. Even if there's just one person casting, I would still sweep. We have Chi-G here. Good. Good Chi-G. Try to get, let's see, an instant envelopment missed out if we can. We do. Good, good, good. That's the instant envelopment missed here. But I'd say overall we're doing good. Renewing mist. Yeah, I would say always uh, renewing mist. Uh, weak core keeps yelling at you a little bit. So make sure you get those renewing mist out. I know it's really easy to like overcap your renewing mist, right? Because you're you're kicking so often and using your envelopment so often. So you always have renewing mist on somebody. Great rop there. So they're not in range. Here comes the totem. Let's swap to it. There's the totem. Perfect. Great, great, good work. Yep, that's the hardest part about this pull. Celestial Condor here for the area damage going out from the big rock guy. Yeah, good, good. 
from the Rock Smasher. I, I actually think that's his name, the Rock Smasher. Um, but besides that, this is looking good. Any kick? Good. Good. Fantastic. I'm trying to see if there's anything damage. It's hard to tell with your UI, um, like your damage rotation, but I'm assuming you're doing it right with your rising sun kicks and your... That's fine. Good damage here. That's fine. That's okay. Good. Yep. Yep. If we have Shaylin's gift, I would also send it. Maybe. Usually that's what I try to do. If, if AoE damage is starting to go out, I'll try to like Shaylin's gift right when uh, it starts ticking away at my team. Um, there's statue. Good. Yeah, I don't have we. I, I haven't been paying attention, but I, I think statue hasn't been used that much. So maybe I'm crazy. Because right now it doesn't have a target. Maybe you want to like, if you're playing the talent to go down. No, you're not. You're probably playing Shaylin's Gift. You're not playing that talent. So I guess it doesn't matter. All right. I guess statue. Does, why? Actually, you could probably drop statue in this build. Unless you're playing the talent like to get to get down the rising mist. But you're playing Shaylin's Gift. So you, you, you're not going to be playing the, um, I forget the name of the talent. But yeah, this is good. Good. I think you you have we have enough time to time it. This is good. Big damage going out on you. Good. <laughs> Good. Yep. Got an envelop mist out there. That's good. G uh, Vivify, Soothing Mist. Good. Envelop mist. Perfect on the tank. Uh, your hunter died there. I actually was paying attention to what you were healing. How do we die? I think he got hit by something. He had to have, right? Because he died instantly. Where's your hunter? Is he marked? Oh, he got hit. Oh, he got hit. That's okay. That's all right. That's fine. <laughs> Damn it. No, that's fine. That's okay. That's all right. Everything's fine. I mean, you lose 15 seconds, but I think, I mean, we have five minutes to kill this last boss and this last boss isn't nearly as bad as the, the other boss. So good, not good. Yeah, you can, you can actually, yeah, you can LOS that. That's good. Good, good, good. Dodge the swirls. Perfect. Good. Get your renewing mist out. Good. We have one more. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your renewing mist going and then you should be okay. I mean, it's really important if you're playing Chi Harmony to get your doing miss out when you can, just because um, that that fifty percent increase to healing, which is nice. If it's lowest infusion, then it's not too terrible. But good mana T here. Yeah, we're full mana. Get our statue down. We're looking good. We have five minutes. We have five minutes to kill this boss. We have lust in two minutes. So this is really important here. Okay, I I believe in us. This one, this one was confusing at first, but you kind of get it. You need to dodge the frontal here. Right, so this is the frontal, dodge it, fantastic. And then when they cast something, you need to spread out. And then if you get the debuff, you need to bring it to a portal. So let's see, you have the debuff, bring it to the portal, perfect. All right, now bring these out, perfect. And these are gonna put a puddle on the ground, right? So keep that in mind, good. Now get out of the puddle, fantastic. If you don't get out quick enough, you actually take a ton of, ton of damage. So this is normally when I would probably send like a Shaylin's gift here. It's not the most damage, right? And there really isn't too much damage on this fight outside of that debuff if people aren't clearing it, but your group knows what they're doing. And your team has turtle, bubble, block, like bubbles and everything. So your team's looking good. So there's blackout kick, rising sun kick, good. Bring these puddles out. Don't stack on top of each other, obviously. Let's see if you get the debuff. You have the debuff, so you need to go to a portal. You're probably going to go to the portal. Good chi right now. We're kind of wasting. Oh, took your portal. Celestial Conduit. So right here, we're like, we kind of stack um, chi and... Uh, Celestial Conduit. I think that's okay, but I I normally try to stagger them if I can. It it kind of sucks that that one that first portal uh, got taken because you you know you had to run further with Chigi, uh, which kind of sucks. But I would just keep that in mind. Uh, good dodge. Good. Do we have the debuff? We don't have the debuff, so we don't need to clear anything, which is great. Oh, uh, do we have the debuff? Oh, we do have the debuff. Sorry. I'm looking, so I know you have a weak core telling you to clear. I'm trying to use my eyes on the debuffs here, but I see you do have the debuff here. So we're looking for a portal. I see you're looking for a portal. Um, yep. <laughs> good life, Kikun. Oh, oh boy. All right, we got to, yep, here we go. Okay, good, 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 good. I was going to say, man, they're taking your portals. All right, good. Drop the puddle far. Good, clear, roll out, good. Uh, we don't have the debuff, which is good. Dodge any frontals, fantastic. Jade fire teachings, good. I'm looking for. We have no cooldowns right now. This is the, and this is the situation. Oh no, no, I lied. That's a GG. Okay, we do have a debuff. Try to bring it to the portal. Good involvement mist on yourself there. Good. Normally I would throw in. I'd like I would normally like thunder. We have crackle too, by the way. Two, two, two stacks of it. I normally try like thunder focus and enveloping mist, so I don't have to hard cast the um, the envelop uh the envelop mist. But right now, uh, right now, if we have if, if do we have stacks of Shadow's gift? I don't know if we do or not. 
I think we just pressed it. Did we just Shaylin's gift? I think we might have. Yeah, that's Shaylin's gift right there. Okay, good, good, perfect. This is, I was about to say, this is the exact time out Shaylin's gift. This is great, because I see the debuff right there uh, from Shaylin's gift. So good, good, good. Um, we don't have the debuff, so we're going to clear. Good. Um, we have two stacks of, we just actually overcapped our Crackling Jade Lightnings. Good clear there. Perfect. Your team's doing good. You just need to live. Um, we have two and a half minutes to kill the boss. The boss is at what? Like 10 per 15%. We just need a good Celestial Conroy here. Uh, we, have, we have Life Cocoon really soon. We have Life Cocoon now if we need to. Great job. Renewing Mist. Renewing Mist is yelling at you. I would get your Renewing Mist out if you can, at least on the tank. Um, but yeah, overall, we're looking good. 10%. That's all we got to do. Let's see if we get the debuff. We're standing near a portal. Good. Good. Put the puddle down. Fantastic. Great. Hopefully, if any of your DPS... Ooh. Your mage had block, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not... I'm going to keep it real. He had block. Great work. Holy cow. 2965. Fantastic work. Yeah, this was this was really good work. Um, overall, I mean, the mage had nice block at the end. I'm not going to say anything. No, I'm just messing with you. Um, this was really clean really really clean dungeon with a minute 43 without the three deaths you'd have over two minutes um left for this dungeon so this was really good um overall really good i would say try to keep those you're doing missed up there were sometimes this week or was yelling at you i think this is the funniest week or i've ever seen honestly this was this was hilarious i need to get it i think it's funny i want to mess around with this a little bit um you have two stacks of crackling jade lightning too a lot of the time now I, Again, you you probably have a coordinated group, so maybe there's times where you want the AOE damage. And I know that Crackling Jade Lightning sucks single target. I, I don't know. So I would say Crackle when you can. I just feel like it's a waste because it's damage too. It's not just healing, it's damage, right? Because it increases Crackling Jade Lightning damage by 800%. So, I mean, it's, it's quite a bit of damage. And then there were some times where the Jade Fire Teaching buff did drop sometimes. So that, that, is, uh, that did happen sometimes. It, I... The same thing happens to me when I fist weave. I get so focused on doing damage, I actually forget that I don't have this buff. Oh, is this your Shaylin's Gift Week Aura? I just realized this is, does it say seven stacks? Interesting. I, I didn't even realize that. This is good. I, I didn't even notice that. Overall, though, this, this was a really clean dungeon. Very, very well done. Um, great coordination from your team. Great interrupts by you. Prop Pally is insane, too. I, I bet if you checked interrupts, the Prop Pally is probably like freaking... 300 interrupts which is wild mana t was good i mean you had 20 stacks at the end but you don't really need to worry about mana that much as a misweaver um but yeah overall yeah this was this was a great dungeon this was fantastic hopefully i i can't think of all any most of the critiques but if you watch it through uh, i'm sure i was rambling about something so that is it for me if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it hope everyone has a fantastic day hope we hopefully you enjoy the video i'll see you later